amazing guest. She's beautiful. Uh, she has so much warmth in her. She goes by the name Joan Mwendwa Alex. She's a parent to an autistic child. And uh, she's going to share with us her experience and just her knowledge around this particular topic. Karibu sana, Jane, not Joan. I don't know why I keep calling you Joan. <laughs> it's Jane, Jane. How are you? I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you with us Thank this morning. Thank you so much, Stephanie, mm -hmm. uh, for having me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's okay. a beautiful journey. We hold yeah. each other's hand. Um, yeah, being a month where we celebrate our children yeah. who are special, as people call them, but mm -hmm. we don't call them special in our world. Uh -huh. um, they are children who are breast differently. Their brains work differently. Mm -hmm. As we see live as black and white, our children see white and gray. Ah. Yes. Just a bit, just differently. Just slightly different. Slight slightly different. Uh -huh. yes. You've said you don't call them a special. What do you call them in your world? We are geniuses. Ah. Yeah. Wow. We have geniuses in our lives. Remember, um, anything good that has ever happened to anyone, there must be a challenge. Remember yeah. Moses in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The yeah. guy could barely say a word, but still God used him, right? Yeah, true. So I believe that uh, our children are blessed differently because they are supposed to be used by God mm -hmm. differently. Differently. Yes. Okay. Yes. So these are geniuses. We're talking about geniuses today. Right, right, right. Great. right, right. So let's talk about it. Um, for someone who's just hearing about autism or hears about autism but doesn't really understand what it is about. Right. Let's start with that. What is autism? Our autism, uh, <laughs> when I hear the word autism, of course I always panic because it's not something to celebrate, yeah. honestly speaking, mm -hmm. because it comes in a big shock. What is autism? What will happen? Those are the main questions that come with it. But generally, until to date, we are not able to really know what is going on in mm -hmm. children's uh, brains. Because, of course, we, we discover that the children have issues with their brain at a very tender age. So you know, no matter which hospital you go to, they'll never tell you what it is, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All over the world, no one has an answer for it. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a spectrum where the children are behaving differently. That's where, unfortunately, people think that our children are mad. Mm -hmm. Because... So not related by any means to a mental disorder. No, it's mm -hmm. not a mental disorder, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, it's neuro, neuro disorder. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that God has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And unfortunately, until today, we are not able to have any cure. Or All we do is therapies, hope for the best. Walk the journey hoping that tomorrow it will be better. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll awaken something and then this child will be better. Okay. So no matter where you go, um, all that you are told is um, it's either genetic, um, it's brought by uh, the environment. Environment? Yes, environment. Uh, that's where the cocomeron and all the other cartoons are brought in that you're told don't expose your child too much on cartoon. Oh. They, th their brain now start working like the cartoon so they're, they're not able to socialize. But oh. we are not 100% sure. sure. So for me, uh, in the old definition, I had to grab something that I had to run with. I took the genetic. So you, did, did I you just told myself, it then, could, could be, be me. It is me. It is my <laughs> husband. <laughs> yeah. And now uh, going on the on the journey of gen, uh, of the genius part. Mm -hmm. My husband is a very good mathematician. Like the guy ah, is so he's good. A okay. He's a genius. <laughs> he's, uh -huh. If you look at me, me nule demwa hasu. So me hasu yangu I'll just eat a jipa. So when you combine yeah. that kind of vibe. I'm not a genius. genius. So you please gotta. allow me to walk <laughs> and say mine. I, I'm not ashamed to say. We combined it and we brought Ivan in the world. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. Yes. I think that's an amazing view to have. Right. Really. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. You wow. have to survive. Okay. Yeah. So for you, um, you know, uh, and before you even get to your experience again, right. how does um, autism look like? For someone also doesn't understand what even we are talking about in the first place, mm -hmm. you know, how does an autistic child um, behave compared to the other? All right, now let's uh, talk about Barry. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I always make it a bit spicy. Yeah. Barry is well, you know, Barry well, tip -toe eh, and dancing, walk with their then. toes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a miracle. We start with that. That's one of the characteristics of an autistic, autistic child. child. They tiptoe. They tiptoe very well. 
as mm -hmm. in they do bare very, very well. well. Um, okay. And then um, when they have meltdown, we don't, uh, okay, in this other side, we don't say they are having um, uh, that throwing tantrum. Th yes, something. we don't use the word tantrum. We just talk about meltdown. Mm. Meltdown is where you are not able to express yourself what is going on. Mm. Remember, Stephanie, when things are so tough, probably with your boyfriend, with mom, and then sometimes you're not really able to tell the other side of the story. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So that's my son because Ivan cannot be able to express what is going on with his life. Mm -hmm. He cannot be able to tell me, Mommy, I want this. So what will happen? He'll just melt down. So in the process of meltdown, you think this is a spoiled brat mm -hmm. because that's what we say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this a child will behave uh, out, uh, worse than the other one because the other one will be like Takuchapa and will understand yeah, that now this one is bad. But now this one is a child who will not understand the normal life. You'll not be able to exp you'll not be able to understand that mommy is saying, I'll beat you up because you're having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. It mm. is what it is. There's nothing you can There's do about nothing it. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah? My issue, yes, yeah. to address my issue. That is another thing. And then the other one is the flipping of the hands. Of the hands. They really flip and then they like their hands mm -hmm. until today to my son, if he holds a serviette, he'll talk to the serviette because uh, mm -hmm. we reach the point that we talk now. Yeah, yeah. But we started the journey without any word. Okay. Our, the other characteristic is now, uh, during the meltdown, the guy can hurt himself. The baby can hurt himself. Ukiona mtoto anajigongesha wall, they can go on the floor ah. when they're trying to hurt themselves or come to you when they're so violent. Mm -hmm. That's why we end up saying, ah, kale katotoka, mama Ivan, ni kawazimu. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. we usually just... Sorry to be mean, but that's it. You know, yes. yeah, we, we loosely use the sums so when you see a child melt down, somehow, this is a spoiled Spoil rat. Blood. And you yes. don't know what, you know, that child yes. is going through yes. or the condition that child right. has. Right, right. Mm. Uh, so that's another characteristic. And then uh, the other one is the sound. If the guy is excited... Mm. Mm. They'll mm. have a sound. They have a sound. Mm. If they are comfortable, they're happy, they'll have that sound. When they are not, and they don't want to do the meltdown, they'll still use the sound. Mm. So you can imagine you're seated in the church. Everyone is quiet, listening, and then your baby decides to use his sound because he's happy. Mm. Mm. And then people are looking at you, ah, like control your child, control your what child is going is on? Noise. Yeah, why are you making noise? You mm -hmm. know, we change environment, they don't want to be there, it can be hectic. So these are ch that's how they sh our children behave. They, ch they, they behave differently, but mm -hmm. because their expression is different, and unfortunately they are not able to really understand the, the small, um, uh, the discipline issues mm -hmm. that you are supposed to have, kawaida. They yeah. are not there in our children's life, unfortunately. It's but we usually get there. Mm, eventually. Yes, it's, eventually. A, it's a eventually journey, right? It's a beautiful journey, yes. Okay. Yes. So, Ruby, tell us your experience. How, did you, how do you know, you know that your child has autism? Is it from birth? Do you just see a child and know that this one has autism? Because now it's, uh, it's the behavior that, at least, you know, from right. what you've said, yes. it's the behavior. Yes. So now when a child, uh, so what we can make of this is you can just raise your child normally, you mm, know. Yes up until they're able now to walk or something, right. or how else can you know? And now, unfortunately, that is the most interesting part because uh, uh, I'm not comparing, but uh, if you have a CP baby, you mm -hmm. can look from the, you know, the cerebral passing Pulsing, baby. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a baby you look at and you can tell something is not right. Mm -hmm. But now, with our children, 100% everything is kawaida. Kawaida. You know, you the baby. The only difference with mine is uh, we had given birth at the same time with a girlfriend of mine, uh, mm -hmm. ma, Mama T, and they could not sleep at night. My son, as long as he's full, he could sleep the whole night. So ah. I used to brag. Like, like oh, I have a good mimi. baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the guy is calm mm. when he's young is calm than usual okay. compared to the other children also I have other children so if mm. I compare ah this was the most peaceful dude mm. yeah he fits he sits he <laughs> waits no matter ah. no so as uh, I know the, the, the uh, uh, autism is quite it's very wide mm. because the characteristic of my baby is mm. not the same 
the other as friend. another yeah in our whatsapp groups where we are or in our journey that yeah, we support are joined your yeah, support yeah. groups as they are saying mm -hmm. um some will talk about their child their children are not able to have um the sleeping patterns are pathetic mm. mine i did not have issues with our sleeping pattern. Oh. My baby used to sleep 100%. Mm -hmm. Until I knew my baby is autistic, that's when I realized, uh, that's when maybe, I don't know if I'm the one who awoken the, the sleeping pattern or something, oh, okay. but honestly speaking, all the other time when you were small, you could sleep. Yeah, the good. Visuri, mm. yeah. Ah, yeah. Now you ask Stephanie about uh, how I, I, I knew. Mm -hmm. Let's begin with the children of uh, COVID. My baby was born in November mm -hmm. 2019. So his journey was 2020. Yeah. 2020, Kila Mtu Alipatikana. You are so lucky. <laughs> For me, Nilipatikana, I was one. busted. I, didn't, I did not have a TV as I was telling you, et now I'll mm -hmm. take care of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, so we all panicked. So you're like, wow, what is going to happen? So you are hustling because literally, Nile Wakati, in a figure point, Paka Unambiwa. Chumbi nenda kuisha. You know those are things as you shangu wa nyumba. But at this point, chumbi naisha. Chumbi naisha aje. It's bad. Na baby, mama Ivan, usisa hau, ata majani, tukona ya leo tu, you know. So I was busy, I would say, struggling to make sure that we eat. Because mm -hmm. that time it was a matter of food. It was so not about wealth. It was not yeah, about yeah. all those things. At least you just have a meal on yes. the table. So yes. both you and your husband are, you are busy. You are busy. Extremely you know. busy. Uh -huh. Trying to fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, kidogo kidogo, we walked the journey. And then by the grace of God, mm -hmm. as I was telling you, had some good friend of mine, Mama Ryan, mm -hmm. gave me the idea. You're good with Madrid, you know, you like driving. That's your passion. Why don't you just do this? So that's how I started my journey ah. of uh, carrying the children to school. So me and Dere were Madrid. Look at that, you know, a lady, ah, it's celebrating. It is lovely. It is lovely. It is. Yeah, so when the schools resumed, I, I could take my children and the other children to school, but now with my personal car, as days went by, uh -huh. I was able to get, I sold the personal, I mean, I uh, don't need the small one. I, need, now one. I need to upgrade yeah. to Madrid. <laughs> yeah. By the grace of God, we walked the journey, so you are busy filling in, watoto shule, nini, school fees. Ah, you are smiling now. Mm -hmm. Your smile is, to, is put to a stop where you call the children for a birthday. Mm -hmm. And then there's this little baby. I, I remember, uh, She's quite young because uh, when I'm holding baby Ivan, he's now a big boy, six months. That's when this baby is born. Uh -huh. So he went to see the baby and then I told um, baby Ivan, ah, now you have a wife. Yeah, you know, you're really on, booked. Uh, on a right <laughs> note, yeah, you're booked. <laughs> to make it happen, and then this baby comes with a cup from the kitchen. Mama Ivan, I don't know. Mama Natalia, I am not a kamaji. I was like, you can speak. You were born the other day. Uh -huh. So it was a wake up call, like, wow, something is not right. Mm -hmm. It was on a Saturday. I was frustrated. I started as looking at people who were around me because the other women and the friends who were around. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and how old normal. was your son now? One he year? Was one year uh -huh. and uh, let's say eight months because he was not one two. Eight. He was not two. two he was not two. Uh -huh. He was not two. Um, but uh, eye contact, another, another, I forgot. Characteristic. The baby, yeah, characteristic of autistic child will never look at you. In the eye. In the eye, no. Mm -hmm. um, so baby even could not. Another thing, he can never interact with other children. He, is, he always have to find a place on his edge. Mm -hmm. So that time we have a birthday, we are happy, we are excited, but my baby is alone. Mm. He's hiding behind the curtain Wants actually. He just wants his space and you're making noise. Mm. Another characteristic, they can really close their ears. Mm -hmm. They hear a lot of unnecessary voice. So they, they don't just want they don't want that. So they old and then now they start the the voice of the sound. Uh, the sound. Uh, 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 yeah. So my baby was frustrated and of course I had to be by him on my back. I'm used to carrying him on my back. So I just took him and then I soothed him. He was okay because now the other children were making a lot of noise and he slept. Mm -hmm. But now I was like, my God, 
So I went to my husband. Hey, something. Umeona bibi so and so anaongea kanambia. Mm. why are you saying mm? Like, <laughs> like I know when we went, yeah, you know, when we went to National Park, uh, there's a baby who looked younger than baby Ivan, and I said hi to the baby, and the baby responded. Mm -hmm. That's when I felt something, and I was like, Alex, who could niambia? Who mm. could niambia? So he noticed he earlier, noticed bit, earlier, but earlier, wasn't sure. He wasn't sure, of course. And then, I, you, you know, also maybe in denial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, are you don't want you know. me, we are all in denial. Believe me, we are all in denial until the date I am. I'm talking about it, but believe you me, sometimes I want someone <laughs> to tell me. No, it's yeah, okay. It's fine. You know? Yeah. Uh, so it's like, I was like, wow, well, Monday, let's go to the, to the hospital, hospital where he was born and then ask the doctor, mm -hmm. the pediatrician, Kuli and Ajay. So on Monday, I called my girlfriend, Julie. Julie, hi, you need to take me to Empisha. I'm like, wow. What are we going to do then? <laughs> like, I think Ivan is deaf. Something is not right. I gave her the story of the previous night. It's like, ah, all right, then let's go. So we went to the hospital. We queued. We waited. It was a turn. So baby Ivan was there. My girlfriend and my husband disappeared because I knew. I'm so sure he knew something was not yeah, right. Yeah. So so ah, well, Let me just. <laughs> so, uh, um, I ask uh, the doctor. Hey, doctor Adi. Uliona baby Ivan kuna kitu when you saw him. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I didn't think it is good to let me know what happened. So he just looked at me. I'm so sure he knew. There was something. There was something. And also he knew that uh, as a mother, I have to put a brim on someone. Mm. Naturally. That's what we do. Yeah. So he, he, he told me, um, just calm down. Uh, what's going on? Like my baby, even if you call him right now, so he'll be like, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan will not look at Won't you, you're not, you will not respond, you will not even look at you, you will not even behave like you're calling Talking his name. Mm. Uh, and then it was all over. That time it was, it was very hyper, extremely mm -hmm. hyper, he's tiptoeing, so the doctor is just observing and he's writing down. Uh, so he was like, um, I, I am sorry, but um, I think maybe Ivan is autistic. What do what? What, 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 what is, is that? that? What, is, what, what do you, do you mean, mean by autistic? By autistic? It was foreign, a foreign it was extremely thing to you. Foreign. Mm -hmm. And uh, being that I have other children, um, the two girls, and then there is a big boy. Mm -hmm. So the people used to be like, ah, you know, boys are slower. Yeah. So you are overreacting. <laughs> Calm down. This guy will be okay. You speak. Don't mm -hmm. worry. So kidogo kidogo. Um, I was like, now, Julie. What does that mean? She, she had a tears. She started crying. And she's like, it's not something nice. I was like, wow. If you're crying, then it's, it's something, something is not right. Mm. So it's like, um, for us to be sure, let's first confirm that the baby is not deaf. So go the other side. Please go have uh, his, his ears um, checked. Checked. So we went and uh, baby Ivan was checked and uh, he could hear 100%. So he was not deaf. He was not deaf. He was not deaf. That, he, yes, that he, was was not deaf. <coughs> he was not deaf. So we came back and then uh, doctor told us, yeah, our uh, baby is what is this like, oh, then there is no problem. What is the solution? Mm -hmm. any, for any you, you wanted a treatment okay. for it. It's okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. One time, you know, you I know. mean, t t we are good then. It's okay. Is it something we can treat? Yeah, yeah it's something we can do. We have therapists. And then, ah, then no problem. Well, ah, therapist, then the baby is okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I smiled. Yeah, but um, I need you to go downstairs. So we were somewhere else. So go downstairs and then confirm, uh, talk to the occupational therapist doctors and then they'll advise you mm -hmm. because now you could see the smile on my face but he knew i can't break this smile right now uh, for him i'm sure that's what he was scared of he to can't give you again to yeah. drive me again so i went to the occupational therapist and then um on a, another characteristic of autistic <laughs> children you know this thing come kidogo kidogo mm -hmm. they arrange their stuff in a straight line uh -huh. yeah they, they like the thing things organized Order. 
in a, a, a straight it, line. Straight. Straight. straight line. So if, if they're brocks, they have to be straight. Mm. If the seats, they have to be straight. straight. No diversions. It's just wow. a straight line. Mm -hmm. So um, he, he was given some brocks. So that is what occupational therapy is. Uh -huh. He organized the brocks, uh, the sensory also, so that they can stop the flip. So ah. That's the sensory therapy. Um, and then um, <laughs> that was it. That was I coughed, <laughs> coughed to 7,000. Wow. <laughs> and you were not even ready uh, for that. Yeah, you were just going to check with the doctor, is my yes, kid fine? What is going on? So, Kidogo oh. Kidogo, I asked the, the occupational therapist doctor, um, how many sessions do I need? Mm. I mean, no problem. It's okay, it's expensive, but I'm sure how I can do something. How many? Give me a number. Uh, give me a number. <laughs> uh, it's like, could be years. You never know how long it will take. Could be. You don't know. Mm -hmm. That one now made me realize then there's a big problem. As much as I would just say the Holy Spirit, you know, mm -hmm. when, uh, when uh, you go through the scenario of someone you really love, eh? let's, let's say someone has died, mm -hmm. there's the Holy Spirit that comes. Yeah. The way other people are seeing it, sometimes you are so calm until people are wondering, are you okay? okay? <laughs> but I would just say there's a way that God does his thing. Mm -hmm. So because for me, I was, I was a bit calm until now reality of the money came in. Remember, we are just struggling, mm -hmm. transport, just, make you just making you just heads meet. Your, yeah, you know. nothing much to really celebrate. So uh, there we were. We went home. I called my mom. I met my mom home. So it's like, ah, hi, that can hear. He's like, yes, mom. I want to go and ask you. So I'm trying to be strong also for my mom. Mm. But mom, when I get to test, mom, miss, what is it? Si junini. But to me and Biwa, we need to do this and this. And mom, this thing is so expensive. Mom, come leo, I've used 7,000. Mm. I don't know what to do. So mom, <laughs> she did what she does best, knelt down. Uh -huh. Prayed okay. and then she told us, "Ini meenda kwangu." Wow, <laughs> that's left. her part. Yeah. yeah, and left. Mm. So we were left with Alex. Alex, I'm sure he was in his own world. I was in mine. We were yeah. all because you've just we were done. this news. You've never yeah. really expected that you, your child would have. Autism. Of course, now we were also told about. Uh, yeah, when we talked to the doctor, he told us we should withdraw cartoon, that's TV, the screen time. Mm. Uh, we should give Completely? Him, yes. That specific time we were told, please withdraw TV from this baby. Mm -hmm. uh, give him more of action time. Let him pray with other children and all that. We were encouraged to do that. I was like, sour, let's do this. But now, I'm still creaked on the 7,000. And how many sessions do we need? Actually, we needed four sessions a week. Four. And one session is three, three five. five. Look Please at do that. your math. It is not doable. <laughs> it is something you cannot afford. Mm -hmm. So I, I kept quiet. I was lost. So I just got to a group, uh, the family group, um, uh, my in-laws family group. I just wrote uh, and said, uh, please, uh, if you see our baby is not behaving, the normal way we, we were told that baby Ivan is autistic. So please bear with us. And I left the group. I left the group because I felt like whew, everyone knew except mm. me. So at that point you are in So already a denial. Yeah, I'm blaming everyone. And I'm blaming yes. everyone for it. And of course I also sat myself down and also felt it was my fault. I was too busy looking for money, looking for the head. I mean, just yeah. trying to do whatever I can do. Mm. So it is my fault. If I was here, my baby it would be okay. Been different. Yes. So I just tried looking for issues that would just make me feel more miserable maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but anyway, I called uh, the, the lady, the friend of mine, and uh, she told me, no, take the baby to school, the baby will be fine. I went to a, a close school, the teacher Grace took us in, and uh, she encouraged me, Mama Ivan, everything will be okay. I will be, I, what do you mean? Everything will be okay. <laughs> Nothing will be okay. Yeah. So I'm looking at the other children, they're small, they're young, they're happy, they mm -hmm. could ask me my name. Mine is there. 
mm. in his own world actually so does not even want to be this children yeah, yeah it's like uh, something that is not working for him so I, I would take baby Ivan to school and just sit outside the, the class the whole time the whole time I, I remember I called sorry. my husband at some point I told him I Alex I can't drive the children mm -hmm. anymore I'm not able to I can't do this anymore I really disappointed so many parents and I still to date wapi wapi is I am sorry. very sorry I don't know if you uh, can have Soviet I, I I still say sorry to the parents that I disappointed but at some at that point mm -hmm. I sank I sank completely and um, we decided to sell the vans mm -hmm. one by one because I could not handle it the, 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 uh, now that's why we talk about me our uh, mental health yeah I went into depression I di have, yes yeah. I didn't want anyone close to me mm -hmm. I didn't want friendship Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the people you thought would love you and support you, they were like, ah, but then she was too busy looking for money. She didn't have time for the baby. But remember, this is not the first child, you know. And then yeah. remember COVID also, we were all stuck home. Okay, mm -hmm. as much as I, I was hustling, it's not like I was not home. I was home. You were home. I was home. So it was, it was hard for everyone. It was even tougher for you because yes. now with this news. But now when uh, you have people whom you expect to be very supportive and then they have phone calls that they're exchanging and thinking, ah, it's because it was, she was not there. Mm. So you just pr uh, tell yourself, yes, it's true. It was my fault. Mm. Yeah. So you can imagine any time you say it's your fault, it is not nice. Yeah. Uh, so uh, my, uh, we call them in, in Kikoi Muiru, the, the lady who is married to my brother, mm -hmm. Masi. She she used to work in uh, in uh, Kenyatta. Yeah. Now she she's out. She's in the U.S. Mm -hmm. She calls me. She's like Jane, bring baby Ivan to Kenyatta. Everything will be okay. Yeah. I told her ah, okay. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you still knew. Okay, you see now. I still have the problem. You still you knew that you baby knew Ivan that has a problem, and then you, you have taken you have taken too long. Mm -hmm. So you still blame yeah, her? Yeah, I still blame her. But anyway, I called Alex and told you, Sasa, uh, can, I, can I take baby Ivan to He's like, yeah, yeah, let's take uh, baby Ivan to Kenyatta. No worries, let's go. Mm. So we went, we were there very early in the morning, by around six in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, we went and she was able to help us go to the occupational therapy mm -hmm. uh, center. Mm -hmm. There is one, a beautiful one, with very beautiful doctors and very good ones. Dr. Wow. Mare, Dr. Kaimeni, Dr. Josephine. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the whole department is lovely. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, <laughs> now, being a mother that I am, anytime they could take my baby for the occupational therapy, where the, the occupational therapy is swinging the babies, trampoline. Oh, trampoline is therapy. Trampoline is a therapy. Mm. Swinging the babies is a therapy. Okay. Uh, and so, kunengine, you put them inside and then you rotate, you, you roll them, eh? mm -hmm. you, ro you really roll them, and then uh, it was, it was, it, it is bad. It is, it is bad. Oh, <laughs> so sorry. I mean. But anyway, mm. um, I accepted. But I used to be the crying mom. Actually, oh, I know. All, my all my <laughs> friends know. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a So, you know, Kenyatta, <laughs> Kenyatta is very cold. So, I, we used to go and then we are told, you need to socialize. I'm looking at socializing, what? I don't no, want to talk to anyone. To <laughs> so, we, uh, people could, we could sit around with the other mothers and I could just cover my s head and cry. Oh. The whole session until when the session is, uh, baby, I even, okay, here I am. So, we could oh. hold him and go home. And remember, those sessions, you don't see any results. It takes time. A lot of time. Like Ivan is four years. Mm. Just the other days when he has started being verbal, a bit wow. verbal. Well, that's good so progress. So it's a journey. <laughs> so we, we continued going for the therapies. At least in Kenyatta, the therapies are friendly, very friendly. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't, we wouldn't compare with the private. Mm. So we used to go for two sessions. Uh, and then one day, I'm home 
one of my friends, Mrs. Mbugi, passes by my house. She's like, how are you? Where is BB Ivan? Why, you know, I, I was not able to tell her anything as Ivan is in school. Like, but BB is not even true. Mm -hmm. So another male down, I, I told her the story. He's like, there's a place called Kise. Uh -huh. Go there. You'll be sorted. Uh -huh. <laughs> so right. long, uh, yeah, getting every, support, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of support and you. people know a lot of, uh, people have a lot of information. information the here. only thing is you're not able to, to really interact mm. and uh, get the info. And I'm like, ah, okay. I actually did not tell Alex. <laughs> I tiptoed, I went to Kise, they gave me a date. Like so l tell us what Kise is about. Kise, mm -hmm. Kise is the institution in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, where the people with disabilities, mm -hmm. uh, they go for the uh, therapies. Okay. Um, uh, it, it's a beautiful, big place, extremely beautiful, mm -hmm. with very friendly doctors. I would say that okay. I, I always recommend. I will always recommend. Please, if you have a baby, uh, please take them there. Wow. And I also pray to God that all the counties will have kisses. Kisses, yeah, oh kisses yeah. everywhere the, where the children can get assistance. Mm -hmm. So I went there, and they were like, "No, we need to as access the baby, assess the baby. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this will be the date." And we went there. But now, baby Ivan was not three years. So the doctor was like, "My mama Ivan, uh, please take baby Ivan outside more. If you're in a flat." Uh, uh -huh. take let, uh, him make, let him interact with others. With if if not, please take him to school. I was like, Bibi Ivan is already in school. school. <laughs> and then she was like, uh, here we are able to accept um, the, the, the therapies are done after three years. That's when we are able to redetermine really uh -huh. if there is a problem. But these are the food. That's where now the challenge comes. Uh -huh. There's also specific food specific that they're supposed food. to take. Withdraw the sugars. Withdraw this. Withdraw... <laughs> withdraw the bananas. I, I looked at the doctor, I'm like, what is he supposed to eat from this? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Everything. What <laughs> does you have withdrawn mean? everything. The risk, the risk is, is a lot. Mm. Uh, he was like, unfortunately, you have to do this, especially the sugars. Please let him stop using the sugars, stop the wheat. And then um, mm. uh, autistic children, sometimes they can have problems with constipation. Mm. Uh, but their digestion system is not the best, mm -hmm. so to say. Um, I'm also still talking about mine. That's why I told you it's very wide because the others who are okay yeah. with whatever they eat. But now specifically, Bibi Ivan had uh, a problem. With had it. a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started the journey of the feeding. Also, uh, we could do camel milk, wow. boozy milk, because now the ngombe milk equal. The information is a lot. <laughs> so you need to see us struggling to look for from Baziwa Yangamia, from Miss Lee. Mm. So I'm calling my mom, mom. Utapitia kwa huyo mama, please ikuwe metoka isiro kabisa. Ngamia yes. And remember, oh it is wow. so expensive also. Oh. But that is not even something to worry about. As long as we were always saying, as long as ataongea, basi iko sawa. Dabda hii, you know, <laughs> the doctors know best. Uh, yeah. Then Alex looked for Mbuzi so we could alternate because honestly, Maziwa mm. Yangami is not it's expensive. No, at the test. Cool. The test. <laughs> the test. How is the test? The test. Not good. Mm. It's not nah, good. It's expensive. No. I used to <laughs> cry <laughs> while I'm feeding my baby. I'm like, I'm going to to survive. Oh. But anyway, um, we walked and walked and walked, and mm -hmm. then um, we did a lot of sessions in Kenyatta. So it was during the December when baby Ivan was uh, most turning three. Mm -hmm. So um, we are supposed to go for the holidays. And um, of course now, Lazima Twenda Ushago, life has to go on, mm -hmm. sort of. Uh, so people are taking by. We created a beautiful group, uh, very supportive people. Uh, amazing yeah. human beings. Um, so, to Kambiwa, I remember when we had the sessions, we were encouraged to take our children to a Montessori uh, uh, in a school that has a Montessori system. Montessori system is where um, the children is not more academic. Uh, or not accessed yes. based on yes, they academic can performance. Yes, 
wakonaka freedom fulani mm -hmm. because our babies will not be able to sit down for 45 minutes their concentration cannot last that long mm -hmm. so you need where in it's more friendly mm -hmm. where wow montessori <laughs> so i called <laughs> i called i called i, I called my friends you know i can be where you need group of schools <laughs> 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 Hundred and fifty, but um, I'm like, wow. why? Please, Mungu, Please God, you. if you give me this baby, then, then me oh, me definitely the you have to give me the money. Please <laughs> be kind <laughs> to <laughs> me. Please, ni patia sa niyake. So we, we <laughs> went, we went to a certain school. Unfortunately, the society hits our babies. Mm. Societies, um, how people treat them. How, how people, wow. how our children are treated. It's it's cold. Mm. People are cold. Because we went to one of the schools. Now we started looking for a school. Now this guy has to go to school. He's turning three, so he needs where school, where, where he is now catered for. Uh, so we went to one of the schools. Is like uh, uh, the first thing I always do, and uh, it has healed me. Is if I come to your house, definitely I'll tell you. And my baby is autistic, uh, so anything can happen. <laughs> so be a rat, okay? <laughs> so I told this lady, uh, uh, my baby is autistic. Do you take autistic children? I was like, oh, let's see how it goes. Uh, bring him for an interview. So I took our baby there. I was like, leave him for one hour, then come back. Mm -hmm. We left him. She looked at me on the face after, after the one hour. We were all of us there. And she told me, Aki, okay, I think you need to take your child to a special school. Oh. Remember, we are encouraged parents with autistic children. Do not take them to, autis to any special school. Mm -hmm. Please don't. So they're supposed to be no. integrated in a normal Yes, please do yeah. not. Please do not. Reason being, if today a child is taken to a monkey, even the normal, okay, as we call them, the normal children, if you take them and interact, they interact with the monkeys, that child will behave like a monkey. Uh -huh. All right? Mm -hmm. So our children, um, you take them to the other children, they will be able to behave like the other children. They'll see the other children are seated, they'll sit down. You understand? They learn from the others from so the experience. Mm -hmm. But now if you take them to a special school, school the children will even start bending one side. Mm. Uh, you, know the, you know the special needs uh, unit is so big. Yeah. So you can imagine what you like Mali for most. Mine, the only issue is the verbal and the interaction. So he'll start copying the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he likes this style of walking, that dude will walk like that. Mm -hmm. But now if you give him a chance to be with other children, this guy, he might come out. You know, uh, so uh, I would say it will killed me. I looked at her and I'm like, mm. okay, no problem. I'll take him there. That broke you. Yeah, that broke me. We went back home, told Alex, now where do you take our child? So uh, remember now, uh, I'm going through a really, really mental issue. Mm -hmm. I'm down, completely down. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, everything lost taste. Do anything any anything that anything. used to make me smile does not make me Doesn't smile anymore. It. Everything is gone. Uh, my husband also was in his own world. Took or two. The only thing that <laughs> used to bring <laughs> us together is Siguza therapy. So we need therapy, to go, so to, need to, go <laughs> to therapy. <laughs> but behold that everything, so literally even the, the special children can also make families break. It's not. It's not uh, anyone's fault. It's because you go ay, I go ay, yeah. and then if the brim game comes in, you're done. It's so, uh, so I, 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 I called my girlfriend Patty. Hey, Patty, what's up? Where do I get a school? It's January. January is coming soon. What am I supposed to do with that, old, with that child at home? We're like, ah, there's a school. Hey, blooming thoughts. God bless you, my dear. Mm -hmm. So she gave me the number of the owner of the school. I, I went I went and waited for her. Like today, you remember I told you I'm always yeah, early. Early. So she was supposed to be in the office at around 9. I 7 13, we broke her gate. <laughs> so she's looking at her CCTV, <laughs> her CCTV camera, and she's wondering who is this? Oh. <laughs> so she was so guilty, and she came. And the first thing I still told her is, you take autistic children because I just wanted to know and walk, cry mm. as I walk, you mm. know. We're like, calm down, just Relax. calm down. 
if today God gave me a chance between a child, a normal child, and your baby, I'll pick your baby. Wow. I will never forget those words. Wow. And I would still want to appreciate her and give her her flowers when she's alive. Wow. Maggie, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Yes. And from there, I had a meltdown. These are total strangers, remember? Mm. She became my therapist. Oh. She listened to the pattern and I. Nearly took her for four. Wow. We did morning. not do, yes, we did not do anything. We just sat and talked and talked and repeated this story that I'm telling you on my journey of the ups and downs and the frustrations that I went through. Mm. And she was there. She had a lot to do because I remember she had to switch off her phone, but she created time for me. May God bless her. And we come on. It is what it is. People. Please let us appreciate no. these people. Yeah, these are rare people. Yeah. We so please we celebrate today, them when, when they are alive, you know. Mm -hmm. So we started our lovely journey there. Uh, we used to do, we used to, to do the rapids at Kise. Now I'm accepted at Kise because now my baby is three, years. is three years. He was accepted. He was so now he can come. Remember at Kise, we just pay 150 or 100 shillings per session. Karibu really? Nabure. Wow. By the grace of God. You that know. Is yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. So Dr. Serene, God bless you. Dr. Dolkas, God bless you. Mm. They've really taken good care of us. And yeah. then. Um, of course, in our, in our school, it's a, it's a kindergarten where the other children are autistic, but the parents are in denial. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, uh, by the grace of God, Stephanie, I have uh, become like uh, someone who is always telling people it is okay. As <laughs> much as on my <laughs> side it is not okay, but I'm able to hold them and just tell them, we will be fine. I walked the journey. It's not like there's any big miracle that have happened, but I keep on telling them, like, we will be fine. We will mm -hmm. be fine. So in the process, Maggie was able to also access Kise, and uh, our children were able to get help. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, Kidogo Kidogo, a special, uh, uh, um, uh, speech, speech therapist, mm -hmm. Ivy, was also introduced to the group. So, because our school, I think we have like 10 babies okay. whom are holded nicely. So, we have the sessions and the children are, are, are given hope. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I would say that uh, it's not the end of it. It's not and the end. Uh, also, I also want to tell people it is not witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do good with the <laughs> It's good to, 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 to debunk that. Please. It please. is not witchcraft. It is not witchcraft. It's please. No more. <laughs> and it is not your fault. <laughs> it has exactly. nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. It is purely the... If, if the guys when you are so many in the U.S., we still have stories of good doctors. We still have... That means this is something which is very wide. Yeah. It's and still, mm -hmm. you know... You equal to Hapo. Equal to Hapo. And we have amazing, you know, I've had stories of people with <laughs> autism and they're geniuses and they're doing great things. It's not Thank like you. they can't Thank do anything, right? right? Right. Yeah. They yes. have the potential to do, to be engineers, to be, and it is actually interesting because there's a time I was interviewing a doctor on the same, yeah. that they're geniuses, especially in sciences. So it's, it's, a, it's actually a gift, the way you, you yes. know. <laughs> it <laughs> it's, is. It's unique abilities it that they it have. Is, it is. It is. Yeah. It is very true. Because mm. if you look at uh, uh, te, 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 Tesla, Tesla. Uh -huh. the guy is autistic. Really? Yes, yes he is. Autistic. Please search. Please search. I need to, Please I need to search it. Look search. at that. Please search. <laughs> the so I always tell my one. son, eh, you uh -huh. guy, my guy, I know you got us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just went on and fired two like you two. Why don't you watch your video? Why don't you watch your live? You know, you're the guy, you know. And uh, so far, so good. I would mm. still encourage people, please don't hide your children. Yeah. Don't be ashamed of your children. Mm -hmm. In our church, I'm not ashamed of my baby. Uh, mm. uh, Jumuya, our Jumuya St. Francis of Assisi, yeah. God bless you. They have really holded my child. They love wow. him dearly because uh, it also started with me. You as it a has to start with me. I have to show them. I have to make them understand that my baby behaves this way, does this way because God has given him mm -hmm. a different ability. And they have really treasured the boy mm -hmm. and anytime he does anything you're like skia <laughs> you know we are, we are always there by then in a good way all <laughs> of us are all, ah, 
I'm being gay, uh -huh. you know. And, and the guy is doing extremely well, but wow. above all, let's not, and also, okay, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not being mean to the religion part also, but there's a, in our group, I saw a lady who was saying that the pastor Wawa Limumbet is the father's fault. Yeah. To watch you, right? <laughs> but come on, yeah. please. All I can say is, please, by the grace of God, let God give us the grace to accept them that our children are just blessing, mm -hmm. and let us embrace them. Let's walk with them. Let's yeah. hold them. Show them a lot of love. For me, our handle, our meltdown. I forgot to tell you that I go to his ground. He's Down crying. I sleep with him and start talking to him. Now, there. Ivan, what, what did I do? <laughs> what, is there anything I should be worried about? Uh, so a lot of hugs, a lot of love is what I need. Mm. In the supermarket, when everyone is looking at me thinking it's a, a kababa, Tantrum. I sit down with my baby. Wow. Yes. If he decides now I, I'm, it's, I'm ready to cry, there's nothing much you can do. Mm. The least you can do is stop getting frustrated. Sit with him. Until we'll he's sit done. There. And then, Ivan, is there anything we should be worried about? <laughs> I give him that. a hug and tell him, Ivan, I love you. Until by the way, now he says it. Oh. I love you. Because now I, I love you has become a part of his life. Uh -huh. So uh, let's not feel ashamed of them. There's mm. nothing to be ashamed of. Wow. Yeah, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I love that. Scary. I wish we could continue with this conversation. Right. Yes, we are mama. pressed for time. But I right. love that. I love that you've shared your story. Right. And uh, through your story, I'm sure, you know, many people... Some who are not aware, they have connected the dots, you know, through hearing and listening to other people that sometimes you connect. Mm -hmm. And even through your experience, someone else has been encouraged, you know, Amen. inspired. And that's what we are all about. And for you, you know, if you know someone who has um, autism or someone who has an autistic child, then you can be kinder, you know, be a support to them. Right. And it goes a long way, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So tell us how can, as we close, if someone wants to reach out to you, maybe through your socials, maybe someone who wants some direction on how to get, you know, to some of the network that you've mentioned, how do they, how can they get you? Of course. It's I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the driver, right? But yeah. anyway, uh, I'm just in, uh, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went through my, my uh, mental health, I forgot all my passwords. So literally I forgot my password for oh. my Facebook. Hiya. And uh, mm. that was it. And I'm so lazy to start it again. <laughs> but in my Instagram okay. is, is where we met, uh, Jean Moendwa. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and anytime someone wants to get help, I'm here yeah, to hold them. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if not anything, even to just be kind. Wow. Like even we can cry together. It's good That's to also cry. Good therapy. Uh, yeah, good I mean therapy. <laughs> good therapy. <laughs> Yeah. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you very much, God Jane, for coming you, on board. You so You're much. such a, you know, such a warm lady. Thank you. <laughs> Your Thank personality you, is amazing. Thank you, we celebrate you, in fact, Thank for you. what you're doing, for being a voice to even other women going through the same thing, other parents going through the same thing. Thank and uh, we love your strength. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. God so bless you. this is where we put a close on uh, today's lifestyle. Now we're going to take, uh, no, go to the next step where Grasha will be taking us through music. Uh, you will enjoy the conversations and the music. So let's take that break and we'll be right back.